Aki and the Addicts head to head. Charlton rot stoppers last time out with their first point in six matches. Fans of a curmudgeonly nature might call them pathetic athletic away from home with three straight travelling defeats. But Liam Coyle literally handed them a chance to break the deadlock. Now, without wishing to put the mockers on stockers, Jaden Stockley netted in the corresponding fixture. And he did so again for Johnny Jackson's outfit. But the team of JJ have been just jittery of late. I'm not sure which analogy you'd use for this sequence. Head tennis, pinball, just when you were thinking, how have Accrington not scored here? Rosaire Longello duly did. His first senior goal. It was quite the turnaround either side of the half hour mark. Mid-table Stanley may have been awful away, but they're awesome at home. Razor sharp on their own turf, and after a fourth successive win here, they went ahead through Tommy Lee. With a name like that, you'd expect the number 18 to be talented, as we witnessed there, but possibly a bad boy too, with something of a wild side. And the ref took issue with this challenge on Sean Clare, who did get up to carry on, by the way. A red card for the man in the red shirt. The ten men held on gamely for a first ever double over these opponents, though there was late controversy. Connor Washington's effort disallowed as he was ruled to have handled the ball. Frustration for the visitors, back to losing ways and far from safe. We're the only side in the bottom four to win. Only goal difference separates Neil Harris's team from FC Wimbledon, who stretched that winless run, as I said, to 18. Uh, Lincoln's win sees him uh, climb to 16th. That's eight points clear of the drop. Now, the top three all drew today. Oxford United stay fourth, but are now five points off the amount of promotion places after a fifth win in six. Sheffield Wednesday climbed to seventh, but remain a point off the play.